By now everyone will have watched a video of Juwenga at a rally where he was declaring his support for Nangagwa by saying that he and others will be willing to break the constitution to make sure that Nangagwa stays in power forever. Why was Juwenga saying these things in the week of the fourth anniversary of the 2017 coup? Was this his way of showing strong support for Nangagwa? We know ZANU like to show off the power they have over Zimbabwe, but they rarely show off in public about breaking the constitution, even though their presence in government is a result of breaking the constitution of the country. Even when they did the coup that removed Mugabe, Chiwenga, and others insisted that what they were doing was in accordance with the law, even though it wasn't. In public, dictators like to give an impression that they are following the constitution in order as a legal justification of their rule and also to avoid pressure from international bodies like the UN and of course the West. So it was really strange to hear Chiwenga say these things in public particularly four years after the 2017 coup. On first appearances, it looks like a man singing for his supper or a VP dragged out to give public support to Nangagwa, who is now openly under pressure from certain sections of ZANU. Imagine, there is even a man from ZANU challenging the legality of Nangagwa's ZANU presidency at the courts, where does this man find the courage to do such a thing? We all remember the scattering of G40 people and apologies while wearing a sweater that became infamous. How come this man is able to make such a challenge and walk freely in the country? Whenever a small dog is showing off there will be w a bigger dog behind it. If someone from the MDC rose up and tried to challenge the legitimacy of Nangagwa, they will be a Chikirubi before sunset. Perhaps more revealing was the lukewarm response Juwenga received from the crowd when he put an image in their heads where Ed is still the president. We are now at a point where even ZANU supporters are showing some discord against Ed's leadership. In recent days, a video went viral showing Ed looking completely drunk as a newt and requiring at least two men to hold his hands like a hospital patient. Going back to the Chewinga's speech, Ed supporters will want to believe that this was the vice president showing strong support to their leader. On the other hand, they fail to realize that when Chewenga said he and others are willing to break the law to keep Ed in power, what that means is that Chewenga and others can also break the law to remove Ed or anyone for that matter. Perhaps he was saying these things because he has actually lost that ability to break the constitution to remove or keep a president in power since he was forced to retire from the army. All these suppositions show discord and cracks within ZANU. Dot regardless of any possible hidden meanings behind Chiwenga's speech, there is a clear one which is that ZANU PF do not respect the democratic processes of the country. They are going to rig the 2023 general election and will use violence to stop any protest against the rigging. The MDC alliance and other genuine people in opposition need to come up with a solid plan in addition to a massive voters' turnout. For the sake of Zimbabwe, Chiwenga, Ed and Zanu need to go, or else there will be no country left for our children.